Good afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Adidong News, AI Anger, Ari. As the monsoon season takes effect, the rain has now moved up to the Seoul metropolitan area. As of 7.20 a.m. Thursday morning, the Korea Meteorological Administration has raised the heavy warning advisory to a heavy rain warning across Seoul. The same warning also took effect for Incheon and most of Gyeonggi-do province, northern Gangwon-do province. As of Thursday morning, the Korea Forest Service has raised the alert level for landslides in these regions to the highest level. The weather officials called for extra precautions due to the pouring rain in already soaked regions. South Korea's state-run power giant has been named the preferred bidder to build at least two nuclear plants in the Czech Republic, marking a major feat for the country's budding export industry and President Yoon suk yeols sales diplomacy. Czech Prime Minister Petr Fiala said Wednesday that a South Korean consortium led by Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power won the hotly contested tender to build reactors at the Dukovani power plant, beating France's EDF in all criteria assessed. Fiala said two more reactors could be built at the Temulin plant. South Korea's top office expressed gratitude for Prague's decision in a briefing Wednesday evening, attributing the win to various government and private sector efforts including President Yoon's promotion of the country's nuclear plant exports. A mixed day on Wall Street on Wednesday, as the tech-heavy Nasdaq plunged nearly 3%, while the Dow Jones hit another record high. With major semiconductor stocks seeing massive sell-offs, the Nasdaq fell 2.77%, or 512.41 points to record its largest single-day drop in 19 months. AI semiconductor giant NVIDIA fell more than 6%, while AMD dropped more than 10% on the day. The sell-offs come amid reports that the U.S. is considering strengthening semiconductor export restrictions against China, heightening investor concerns. On the other hand, the Dow Jones jumped more than 243 points, or 0.59% to close Wednesday's trading session at 41,198.08. It marks the first time the index surpassed the 41,000 mark. U.S. President Joe Biden tested positive for COVID-19 while on the campaign trail in Las Vegas on Wednesday, and according to the White House has mild symptoms. Biden met with supporters in Las Vegas on the same day but later cancelled an appearance at a Latino civil rights organization event in the city. Instead, he boarded Air Force One to return to his residence in Delaware for self-quarantine. Meanwhile, an AP North poll released on Wednesday showed that the majority of Democrats want Biden to drop out. Nearly 70 percent of the Democrats responded that he should withdraw from the presidential race, and a different candidate should be nominated. K-pop music accounted for more than half of the best-selling compact disc albums in the United States in the first half of this year. That's according to the 2024 Mid-Year Music Report by Lumini, an entertainment data tracking company, which said that K-pop music dominated six spots on the U.S. top CD album sales from the end of last year through June. Tomorrow by Together, better known as TXT, claimed second spot with nearly 200,000 sales, trailing Taylor Swift who topped the list with sales above 1 million. Other K-pop artists featured include ATs, Twice, Three Kids, and Hypen, and Seventeen. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.